Yo, what's going on, guys? Arsenal fans, we're back again with another video, and today we got to talk about Kieran Tierney, as there are some fake reports going around. I don't really believe it, but guess what? We have some reports that Kieran Tierney might be staying at Arsenal Football Club. In addition to that, Sky Germany are reporting that Kai Havertz deal might be done later tonight. Declan Rice deal is progressing quite quickly, and of course, we got to talk about Chelsea and Saudi Arabia absolutely cheating the system but let's get into it hit that subscribe button hit that like button and now let's get this show started baby but before we go any further don't forget i will be going live tomorrow at 5 p.m with another transfer video this is just a quick little upload as i am going to be doing these throughout the summer transfer window here we go Yes, 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 people. How's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing today? So let's get into all the transfer news and everything else. Before we go any further, I'm just going to let you guys know that, of course, Sky Germany have just reported that Arsenal are going to win the race for Kai Havertz and Bayern Munich have completely fallen out of the race. And we now have some news around where he could potentially be playing. So this is where the reports are coming out from ESPN stating that this is the plan for what to, how to use Kai Havertz. Sources are say, uh, have told ESPN that the conversation is Arsenal indicating uh, that the new addition Kai Havertz will be playing in the 10 and the 8 and he's capable to play uh, uh, any of the three positions in the attack. So he'll be able to interchange uh, across the front three in a 4-3-3 system. And then there's also saying, they're talking about the versatility, the fact that Mikel Arteta is very much attracted to him uh, for, for his playing style. People are saying that him and Odegaard could play together. People are saying it could be a situation where, where we have a midfield three of Odegaard, Rice, and Kai Havertz. So we're going to have to see how this progresses. At this moment in time, Kai Havertz does seem to be a player that will be joining Arsenal. Sky, Sky Sports Germany reporting that he will most likely be joining very, very soon. And we'll just have to wait and see how that progresses at this moment in time there's not too much more information on what's going on with Kai Havertz but I'm hopeful that there might be more information later tonight and if there is I will go live or I'll make sure I do a video to let you guys know what's going on but yeah just to just to show you guys what I was talking about with the Sky Germany article here it is right here this was it right there so they're saying Bayern Munich are set to miss out on Kai Havertz and Kai Havertz is set to join Arsenal I'm still not too much fond of the the transfer and the potential idea of us going in for him but we're just gonna have to wait and see how that goes and and how it progresses from uh, from here on out I'm not too worried personally at this moment in time um in other news it seems like yesterday we kind of freaked out for no reason as the Thomas Partey situation is a little bit more different than what we originally heard so yesterday we heard one thing that Arsenal are looking to sell him now we're hearing reports that Arsenal are prepared to sell him but if a suitable ar arrival comes in in the long term there'll be like a like Ilkay Gundogan or a Caicedo, then he'll come in. If we're going to get Lavia, he, that's not going to be a replacement for for Declan uh, for him. So it has to be a suitable replacement. Arsenal are ready to sell him, but it would have to be uh, Caicedo and Gundogan, uh, one of those guys, to come in. It's not going to be someone young like Lavia. That's that's not who they're looking at as a direct replacement for. Uh, uh, for Thomas Partey and that is a relief for me because I didn't want to sell him in the first place I understand how much of a quality player he can be but I just didn't want to sell him for uh, uh, to risk the opportunity where we need to a, a full year to just get used to everything even though there is interest from Saudi Arabia if you guys don't know there's interest from Saudi Arabia for Thomas Partey so of course there are interests in Thomas Partey people want Thomas Partey and we're just gonna have to see how things go from there at this moment in time I'm not too concerned about the whole Thomas Partey situation that's just me but yeah and when it comes to Caicedo and Ilka Gundogan we're gonna need to raise a lot of funds to get Caicedo I don't know if we, we're gonna pay the money that Brighton want and Ilka Gundogan let's be honest guys there's so many different options for him. I don't think Ilkay Gundogan looks at Arsenal as a, as a first option. He has Saudi. He also has uh, 
He also has Barcelona, Man City. There's so many different options for him. He he might he might even stay at City. He might go to Saudi Arabia. He might go to Barcelona. But really and truly, Arsenal are fourth in the pecking order for Ilka Gunawan. So I'm not too worried about that transfer right there. Now, let me just show you guys something that my guy Ali just mess, uh, tweeted out about William Saliba. William Saliba is hot is on holiday this Thursday is due, and is due to fly back to London to finalize his contract and, and line up to sign uh, and solidify his future at Arsenal. He will be wearing the number two shirt confirmed by multiple reports. So that is, that is good news right there with that right there. Now, yeah. So what I was saying about Ilka Gunawan here, uh, here's Guardiola talking about uh, Barcelona love uh, Gunawan. Xavi called him many times asking about him joining Barcelona and he's yet to make a decision yet, but he's going to make a decision on his future very soon. Of course, uh, numerous reports talking about Caicedo saying Arsenal still remain interested in Caicedo despite the rumors that we are uh, we are only focused on Declan Rice. We are still interested. Chelsea remain the strongest to sign, uh, to sign Moise Caicedo, so we're going to have to wait and see. But at this moment in time, that is a situation that we're going to have to monitor as things progress. progress. But yeah, the Ilka Gunawan stuff is is the main conversation at this moment in time. There was also Balogun won a trophy yesterday. Uh, Balogun won a trophy yesterday. Matt Turner won a trophy yesterday. They won the Conference League in Confacaf, and Balogun scored his first goal in that in that. Uh, and yeah, it's also Martinelli's birthday, so please do give Martinelli a birthday shout out. Now, quickly, let me just show you guys the Kieran Tierney stuff and the drama that comes with it. Because I'm calling out a journalist right now. This is not journalism. This right here is speculative news. This right, this person right here is not a real journalist. I don't believe anyone who uh, anyone who who pretends to be a, a real uh, a journalist is not real journalist. Uh, anything that you see with this name, please do not believe it. Now, we are going to speak about this because what he's done is he's given false information and he's notified people uh, that. Arsenal are going to keep Kieran Tierney and he will stay and things are progressing well. First of all, how do you know that? Because if I'm not mistaken, he's not a reliable source. He, he doesn't have a reference to another source on in this in this piece. And he even has, I even made a joke about it being ketchup. And he replied with his burner account, with his burner account, thinking we wouldn't notice. Like, you think we won't notice that this is your burner account, my guy? Huh? You, you don't think we notice? So I'm calling this guy out for being a fraud for being a fraud journalist and this Kieran Tierney is staying news is absolute BS. Don't get yourselves, don't get your hopes up yet because there's no actual concrete news that Kieran Tierney is staying. As we last heard, Kieran Tierney has been heavily linked away to Newcastle and nothing has changed. Uh, Newcastle don't need to make the signing right away. They do have FFP issues, so we're gonna. They're probably gonna try to sell to buy, but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that. No real information on that situation at this moment in time. Um, next. So yeah, I'm calling out that journalist. Anything you guys see with Steve's name on it, just know that it's not it's fake news. Um, Fabio Vieira had uh, fulfilled his uh, his uh, recovery in England. What? What is this? Let me read this. Let, let me get AI to read this for me. Fabio Vieira had fulfilled his stipulated recovery plan in England but his situation is not having the expected evolution for him to participate in the U21 Euros. Therefore, he will not participate in the tournament. Is he injured? Is, uh, does that mean he's injured? I hope he's okay. Um, I, I never really heard anything about, about him being injured until now. Uh, I, I hope he's okay. Fulfilled his supplement recovery plan. Uh, so I guess his recovery plan is to recover from an injury. What kind of injury does he have? I don't know. I hope he's okay. Uh, personally, I don't think he uh, Fabio Vieira is going anywhere. I do think he's going to be staying for the foreseeable future. But a lot of fa Arsenal fans might want to get rid of him. Um, in other news, also, we had a situation where Arsenal were linked to Alexis Sanchez, but he's a snake and nobody wants him. Uh, so he, he can go to Man United if he wants again, but they're probably not going to take him back ever again. And yeah, uh, Saudi Arabia might be calling really and truly. So he can go head over to Saudi Arabia with the rest of the Saudis, the guys that are headed to Saudi Arabia. And yeah, Alexis Sanchez, 
at this point of his career, he's just it is what it is with him. It is what it is with yeah, with him. But yeah, that's that's really the news today, ladies and gentlemen. There's not too much going around. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's no real Declan Rice news as of late. Most of the news has just been Kai Havertz and what Mikel Arteta's plan is on how he's going to use Kai Havertz and where he's going to play Kai Havertz. Alexis Sanchez, would you take Alexis Sanchez back? Um, Thomas Partey, would you sell Thomas Partey only if we we bring in Kai? Ha would you would you be okay to sell Thomas Partey even if we don't get Caicedo and we get a Lavia? Because for me, it's not it's a no go. And as of late, West Ham, what they what they're expecting Arsenal to pay is around a hundred a hundred million plus. We gotta wait and see what happens. But there's no real updates on the West Ham situation with Declan Rice. And yeah, that's just, that's pretty much that. Um, let me just say this: Chelsea are absolutely cheating the market again. They have found a way. They found loopholes and ways to just get around uh, stuff once again. And it is what it is. Chelsea are absolute monsters in this transfer uh, window. And it's not by sell. Um, it's not by buying players. Now they're doing it with sales. They found a way to sell a bunch of their players to Saudi Arabia. And I don't know how this is even possible. I don't know how they're even doing this, but it seems like Mendy's going, Conte's going, uh, Ziyech is going, Abamyang's going. They have already sent Conte. They're gonna send Kovacic to to, uh, to another Premier League rival. They're gonna send thing to another Premier League rival. They are actually making us look like a joke in the way that we make sales. But guess what? Surprise, surprise. They actually are doing it because they have a connection and Todd Bowley has found a loophole in how to make Chelsea Football Club sell their players to Saudi Arabia, who also are invested in Clear Lake Capital, who also are part owners of Chelsea Football Club. So they have a vested interest in, in doing it. So it's a it's a it's a form of it, it's a form of money laundering in my opinion. But there's no proof. So based on that, they can they can do whatever they want. They can sell to whoever they want for whatever price. And no one can really stop them. Like Bali and and these guys found another loophole. And Todd Bowley has literally, <laughs> Todd Bowley has literally done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Todd Bowley has literally done it again. This guy, I gotta come. I gotta give credit to. I gotta give credit to Todd Bowley because he's an absolute. He, he found another way to cheat the system. First, it was the seven-year contracts with the loophole. Now it's this. Get all get all your players sold to Saudi Arabians because now they sold Mendy, Ziyech, and they're going to actually get money for them. Koulibaly. So they're sending Lukaku, Abamyang, Ziyech, Mendy, Koulibaly, and Abamyang. I mean, and, and Kante. So they're going to get over $100 million plus from these player sales plus uh, free contracts, uh, 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 players leaving on a free from Chelsea. And we can't even get rid of Abamyang. I mean, we can't even get rid of Pepe. It's a joke. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a good one. So yeah, just to give you guys a quick little recap of everything that's going on. We spoke about uh, we spoke about Declan Rice. Uh, no real update there. Kai Havertz is destined to join Arsenal at this moment in time. He's going to play in the midfield and anywhere across the front three. Um, we've rejected uh, an opportunity to bring back Alexis Sanchez as he will be a free agent in the summer. Most likely we'll end up at Saudi Arabia. Chelsea are absolute cheats. It is what it is. What can we really do? And um, don't listen to the fake news from fake ITKs, just to let you guys know. And that's enough for today. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, if you believe that Kieran Tierney will stay, let me know. And if you think that Kai Havertz in the midfield is a bad decision, what else should we do? At this point, it is what it is. We're going to sign Kai Havertz, guys. We're going to sign him. Anyways, have a good one. I'm out of here, people. Hey! Here we go.